America, where's my jet? We're going to cover that here today on Speechless. Cut for time. Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Speechless Cut for Time, where I cover stories that might not be able to make it onto my radio show on Cities 92.9, the news and talk of Bloomington Normal and beyond. I'm 22-year-old conservative college student, Kev Ferris, everybody. I almost forgot my own name there, but don't worry. I still got plenty of more videos coming up. And to make sure you don't miss a minute, don't forget to like this one, subscribe to the channel, comment what you think, share it with your friends, everything like that. And ring that notification bell to all because we know the lamestream media and screw tube doesn't want you to hear the news reported in this way out of fashion for them because this is conservative youth journalism right here. But let's get on into it, everybody. So today it came out that America has apparently lost my jet. Yes, I don't know if you guys ever saw that Pepsi wears my jet from Netflix, but something seemingly out of a Netflix documentary, America has lost a jet yesterday, uh, just about 24 hours ago as I'm recording this, the joint base in Charleston, South Carolina, released this tweet. Yeah, they released this tweet, real tweet, real thing. Uh, it says, we are working with MCAS Beaufort, South Carolina to locate an F-35 that was involved in a mishap this afternoon. A mishap, that's what they label it as right there. Mishap this afternoon. The pilot ejected safely. If you have any information that may help our recovery teams locate the F-35, please call the Base Defense Operations Center at that number. So if you're in South Carolina and you've happened to just see a missing jet, uh, take a look for it and, and give them a call right there, right there at that number. Because our United States military apparently can't even keep track of a jet. Seriously. This is a real, real story. So out of NBC News, they seem to have the most information from everything I was looking at. The pilot was able to safely eject from the aircraft, which is an F, uh, F-35B Lightning II jet, and was taken to a local medical center in stable condition, according to a Facebook post around 535 yesterday. Uh, the second Marine aircraft wing, the jet belongs to one of the unit's training squadrons, confirming Sunday's, quote, mishap, and that the pilot had safety safely landed. The search and recovery efforts for the aircraft are ongoing, and we are thankful to the agencies assisting in this effort. The jet was left in an autopilot mode when the pilot ejected from the aircraft. Jeremy Huggins, a spokesman for the joint base, said... Uh, that authorities believed there was po a possibility that it could have remained airborne for some time, though as of noon Monday, they were certain it was no longer flying. Well, at least they know that, right? The FAA did not immediately respond to a request for comment as the circumstances that prompted the pilot to eject from the aircraft were not immediately clear. The Joint Base Charleston said in a statement that it was coordinating with units and leaders in the Marines and Navy, as well as the FAA, Civil Air Patrol, and local law enforcement across South Carolina. The base said searchers were using, quote, both ground and air assets in the effort. When asked early Monday whether the jet had crashed, crashed Huggins said he was unable to elaborate. He promised, however, that more information would be forthcoming. Further questions to the Joint Base Charleston were directed to the Marines which said it could not provide, quote, any additional details to preserve the integrity of the investigatory process. This is our government, everybody. Remember, I'm old enough to remember when we had those Chinese spy balloons just flying over the entire United States. Remember that? They were able to locate those real easily. We have an airplane. Every, pretty much every airplane's got a little black box, and the majority of them are found. It's a big deal when they're not. And this is a military aircraft. A military aircraft, which, according to Lockheed Martin, because it's from Lockheed Martin, this is a Lockheed Martin, you know, the, you ever look up the military industrial complex, you'll know a lot about Lockheed Martin. But aerospace giant Lockheed Martin describes the F-35 series on its website as, quote, the most advanced fighter jet in the world, as well as, quote, the most lethal, stealthy, and survivable aircraft. I guess that stealth is working too well because our United States government, which is the one that purchased using our money, and owns it, can't even find it. The F-35 family includes three single-seat variants, including the F-35A, conventional takeoff landing jet, the F-35B short takeoff and vertical landing variants, and the F-35C carrier. Or, yeah, carrier. So they can't even find this thing. And it's actually breaking, coming out of all of this, just as I was just about to start recording this video, U.S. officials have ordered a two-day stand-down for all military aviation inside as well as outside the United States after an F-35 jet went missing in South Carolina. This keeps getting more bizarre. According to ABC News, no units are allowed to fly unless there is a discussion for two days about safety measures and procedures. 
No units are allowed to fly until they have a two-day discussion about safety measures and procedures, the commandant said in a service-wide email on Monday. What is going on? And why won't our government tell us what's going on? What we, we are good enough to know and also be asked to help. That's the other thing in that original statement. Basically, the government is enlisting the help of civilians, saying, if you know anything, let us know. Because we don't. It's like, dude, where's my car? But dude, where's my jet? The old Ashton Kutcher movie, you know? What is going on? Our government can't locate a jet. A, also, by the way, according to armscontrolcenter.org, a version of the F-35B, which is the one that's missing, is about $135 million. Look, and I know our defense spending budget goes into the several millions or several billions, but... million jet just goes missing entirely. Just flip. They're like, oh my God, civilians, please help us. Let's find it. What's going on? That's what our government does. And this is why I say, I, I, I think the government lies to us more than it tells the truth. Not much has has been heard. Not even the name of the pilot has been released. We have no idea what's going on with that. Obviously, like I said, there's a two-day stand-down for all military aviation units. But Nancy Mace, Representative Nancy Mace, is trying to get to the bottom of it. If we look at her Twitter, which I'm going to pull up on screen right now, her Twitter seems to try to offer some answers as she's been asking them for the American public. Thank God, because somebody needs to. So you look at her Twitter here. Um, she's been asking tons of questions. Obviously, you can see I got ads and everything, too. Um, but you see, pilot safely ejected. Grateful to our men and women in uniform who risk their lives on a daily basis. Then you go up further. You can see, we, who knew? We knew the F-35 was stealth, but this is ridiculous. Uh, now that I got it out of the way, how the hell do you lose an F-35? Yep, serious question. How is there not a tracking device? And we are the public, and we're asking the public to do what? Find a jet and turn it in? She said she was supposed to have a briefing with, uh, her with the USMC, United States Marine Corps, to try to get some answers. Um, one of the shortest meetings she's ever had, because guess what? No one sent over to bre- was sent over to brief me, uh, and her staff had any answers. Shocker. Insane. No one knows if the F-35 was in the air or under the water. Yeah. So Nancy Mace is trying to ask the, ask, ask the questions, but still to no avail getting any answers. So what is going on? United States government. Where is this jet? Why can we not find it? So here's the thing is because there are no answers, the internet's going crazy. Some Twitter account posted that it got, that the autopilot sent it and landed safely in Cuba, which some people are believing it because the apparent, there's rumors that the Chinese Communist Party opened up uh, an air military base in Cuba somewhat recently. And while I think that probably seems unlikely that this F-35 jet on autopilot was able to land safely in Cuba, well, I think that seems unlikely. It's as good of an answer as anything, considering the government is giving us nothing. So what do you expect out of your government? If they're going to release a statement like this that says, we have lost an F-35 jet, we have lost $100 million over that of your money that was spent on a deadly piece of military equipment? What can we expect from our government? Because efficiency, effectiveness are not, are two things that I do not expect, that I can't expect. And people wonder why I don't want to give the government more control over my life. Why I'm a conservative. Why I want smaller government. It's because of things like this. So America, where's my jet? I'm patiently waiting for answers. Sorry, I'm impatiently waiting for answers, but not expecting much. The government lies to us more than it tells the truth. I firmly believe that. Everybody, wait for updates because that's all we can do. God bless you. God bless America. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, ring that notification bell, hit it to all, and have a great one of your rest of your day, guys. Thank you so much. You've been watching Speechless. Got for time. (laughs) 